quick review. Can-Am 2016 Defender HD 10. As you can see, it's well used. It's got 9,302 miles on it. Been a pretty good machine. Uh, the problems you have with it, the seat covers pull away. Hopefully they fix that by now. You have plastic floorboards and it appears to be designed that the sticks uh, poke right through that in the same spot. It's just like that on the passenger side. Hadn't been to the shop with it, but one time the rack and pinion went out on it uh, at about 9,000 miles. They did fix it under warranty. Uh, the light switch went out, uh, I think two or three times. Uh, I had them replace it at the dealership the last time when I had the rack done. Uh, they tried to charge me a $140 diagnostic fee. Uh, I informed the service manager that I was the one that told him what was wrong. Why would I pay him $140 when it was covered under warranty? He didn't say anything. He just told me to go ahead and pick up my machine and he never brought up the 140 again. So watch yourself at the Steelership. Anyway, it's been a good machine. Overall, I would buy it again. Uh, I would not buy it without the skid plate in there. Uh, they've got it fixed where you have to replace all of them, not the factory ones that you, if you take those off, you have to replace the whole thing. So, been a good machine. I would buy it again still going i've got the extended warranty for what it's worth the service manager made several comments to me about he hadn't seen a machine with that many hours or that many miles i informed him there was no mileage or hour limit in the warranty when i purchased it i also got him to admit there was no abuse Anyway, he did uh, a good job of getting Can-Am to pay for the rack and pinion, which they did replace, along with a recall on the shifter. It's been a good machine. I would purchase it again, but hopefully by 2020 now, they have fixed these issues. Don't think there's much you can do about the dealership.